Hi, I'm Dempsey Pulat, and this week I'm reviewing... Now before we start off, as always, I just want to take a quick second to remind you guys to make sure you hit that like button if you like today's video, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more new movie-related content weekly. But, without further ado, let's jump into today's film. The Little Things was written and directed by John Lee Hancock, and stars Denzel Washington, Rami Malek, and Jared Leto. Set in Los Angeles in the 1990s, the film revolves around two detectives trying to solve a series of similar murders. Now, I am a sucker for detective fiction. It's probably one of my favorite genres of film. So when I first heard about this film and I found out who was going to be in it, three pretty big Academy Award winning actors who couldn't be any more different from each other playing off of each other, I was like, You have my curiosity, but now you have my attention. You see, and I'm pretty sure most people know this going into the film already, but its best feature by far is its three leads. As always, Denzel Washington owns every scene that he's in. Here, he plays a cop who's running away from a very dark and troubled past. Granted, his character does carry a very similar swagger to other characters we've seen him do before, but nevertheless, he's still incredible to watch. Rami Malek playing a big shot detective is also really good here. Admittedly, he is a bit too cocky and he's not that likable when you first meet him, but over the course of the film, I'd argue that he becomes the one you feel for the most. His obsession with the cases causes him to unravel in an arc that you don't necessarily expect, but is surprisingly effective at establishing just how taxing this job is on our characters. Now, Jared Leto is, well, he's just Jared Leto in this. You're awkward. But in all seriousness though, here Leto just appears to be realigning himself with all of the weird stuff that he did before he won an Oscar. Uh, in the film he plays the suspected killer that ends up in a cat and mouse game with our two main characters. And while his character might be too crazy for the film's own good, you can't deny that he's very fun to watch. But as I hinted at before, characters aside, I honestly can't say that this film has much else to offer. In terms of plot, the entire film is an overcomplicated goose chase. Not just figuratively, either. Yes, the story is hard to follow at times, but there's a sequence where Denzel's character is literally chasing Leto's character in circles on the highway. Also, I'm no police officer, but in the film there were just so many, I don't even want to call them coincidences, but more like conveniences that I think should have warranted the arrest of Leto's character sooner. And I'm not spoiling anything because I am going to talk about an interrogation scene that happens with his character in the film in just a moment. But yeah, for as good as uh, Denzel and Rami's characters are supposed to be in the film, they always just end up being one step behind him. And it just, it made no sense to me. And I feel like there were so many opportunities they had where they could have nabbed him where they just didn't. Now about that interrogation scene, okay, which by the way is literally the only scene where all three of our characters appear together in the same room. It is surprisingly the most anticlimactic scene in the entire film. What should be a turning point in the film isn't. Instead, it's just Denzel's character yelling at Leto's while Malik's watches. On top of all that, and I mentioned this kind of earlier, the film is set during the 90s, which literally does nothing for the story other than put our characters at a technological disadvantage because if I'm being real I think if there was more modern technology in this film it would change everything uh, seriously it feels more arbitrary than anything that it's set during that decade um, but if there if I had to guess the reason why it's set during the 90s it'd probably be just to create some sort of cinematic parallel between this film and seven which more often than not it feels like this film is trying to be especially with that ending now, I'm not going to spoil the film or anything like that, but I will say this. There are a lot of ambiguous endings out there that only help to strengthen the overall story. And I was absolutely expecting this film to be like that. I was expecting a very open-ended ending that would force me to reevaluate the entire film and to think about it in an entirely new light. Unfortunately, director John Lee Hancock opts to spoon-feed the audience and let them know uh, or give them a pretty good idea of what is happening or what actually happened. Rather than, you know, just letting them think about it or theorize what it all means themselves. And that, to me, was the tipping point. Uh, and really, that was ultimately what made me kind of dissatisfied with the film. Now, that's not saying that the ending won't please some, but 
to me, it felt like a missed opportunity to make the film better. The Little Things, which, by the way, I didn't say this before, but I really love the title. I love what it means, and I think a lot of people will appreciate it when they learn what it means. Had every opportunity to be a great, new, and modern noir. But it just doesn't take enough big risks. And as a result, it ultimately and literally blows its leads. And for that, I'm going to give this film two stars. It's the little things that rip you apart. It's the little things that get you caught. Guys, thanks so much for taking the time out of your day to view this video. It really does mean the world to me. And once again, if you like this video, please make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well for more new movie-related content weekly. Now, if you happen to see this movie, if you loved it, if you hated it, let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. I look forward to reading and responding to all of your comments. But that's pretty much all the time that I have for you guys today. As always, be on the lookout for more new content shortly. And, uh, yeah, I should just probably get back to work. So, until next time, I'm Dempsey Pallott. Take care.